Welcome to Jewel of Africa, unearthing the promise of Zimbabwe's people. What do we want to do with the show? To unearth the rough diamonds in Zimbabwe society and push them to the surface where they may be exposed. In this, our first show, we look at the young people who are forging ahead in the computer industry. Not that unusual, you say? Well, the difference is that they are still in school. Prince Edward School for Boys was founded in 1898. That makes the school 102 years old, one of the oldest schools in the country. Prince Edward is a cross-section of boys of different races and creeds from diverse socio-economic backgrounds. A philosophy to produce men who can participate in sport, academic and cultural pursuits. End product, the all-rounded Prince Edward gentleman. Hi, my name is Tanaka Puma. I like to be a lawyer when I grow up. Hi, my name is Tanasha Mangiru. I like to be a businessman when I grow up. Hi, my name is Bruce Suga. I want to be an Indonesian cricket when I grow up. Hi, my name is Oswald Nchim and I want to be an architect. Hi, I'm Basil. I want to be an accountant when I grow up. Hello, I'm Farai Shava. I want to be an architect when I grow up. Clive Barnes has been at the helm of this institution for a number of years. We chatted to him about the school fondly known as PE. We've got 120 teachers uh, in about 26 faculties and we have 1,400 boys uh, at this school which is now 102 years old. There is a great tradition at this school. Um, it's been built up over, as I've just indicated, 102 years and a lot of people believe in the school. We've got a wide support from the community but particularly from our old boy community. John Bearden Camp has put back into the school since centenary um, a large sum of money which has enabled us to realize one of our centenary dreams and that is the computer and music center. Already we've got the widest curriculum of any school in the country but we have for some years now dabbled with computers and music and we've now got the wherewithal to really develop uh, computer awareness and a feeling and understanding for the other side of man's nature from computers and that is music. The reason we put it in place is because that is the direction that um, the whole world is taking. Uh, this is, as we know, almost uh, a global village now that we live in and part of that global village is information, the information highway. And here at Prince Edward School we've been most fortunate to be uh, given the opportunity to have 65 of the most up-to-date computers in the world. Uh, they are uh, in every way uh, modern, uh, entirely modern, and uh, we can teach uh, every facet of computers on those machines. Uh, I think our sportsmen are better known, uh, Nick Price, uh, uh, Graham Hick, uh, Mark McNulty, uh, those sort of people are better known because of the, of the, uh, the sort of pizzazz of sport. But we've uh, produced a lot of academics here. Prince Edward, in fact, has the most uh, Rhodes Scholars of any school in Zimbabwe, now 45. In fact, we're the third largest school in the world for Rhodes Scholars. And I'm hopeful that we'll can continue to produce boys of that academic uh, ability um, through this particular centre that we're looking at here. Neil Hamilton Brown is the Director of Computers at Prince Edward School. He tells us a little about the John Bredenkamp Computer and Music Centre and about the two bright jewels who caught his eye. At the present moment, all boys at Prince Edward in Form 1 and Form 2 actually do computer courses. It's part and parcel of the curriculum. They do computer classes one hour per week uh, for the entire year. Form 3s and Form 4s, we restricted it to the A streamers who actually do it as part of a computing science O-level subject. Uh, upper six boys and lower six boys, they do computing science A-level and we've got a two classes of about 40 boys who do the International Computer Driver's License, which is a commercial computing course. The two exceptional students at Prince Edward are Daniel and Keith, both who are doing upper six uh, computing science at A-level. Both have just completed their A-level projects and both are expected to do extremely well. Both boys have been involved in maintaining and supporting the machines here at Prince Edward and both boys have indicated that they would like to pursue a career in IT uh, in the near future. Both boys will be going to various universities worldwide to do various IT courses. Keith Manungo, born in the United States of America, and Daniel Van Esferchen, born in Zimbabwe, 
diverse backgrounds were joined by two factors, Prince Edward School and their love for computers. Come with us now as we talk to our jewels. Enjoy computers because you can do so much with computers. You can program, you can do games, you can play games, you can create a lot of stuff on the computer. How I got into computers is that my, my mom had a small laptop computer and I used to mess around with it. Then in the end I just started knowing how to go about things so I think that's how I got into computers. The internet is very easy to use, you know, anyone can, can learn how to use it. I think programming and internet, just networking, I think that's, that's my speciality. I've, I've read a, a lot of books on networking and I think I, I know a lot about networking and programming. So I think that those, those two are my specialities. No, I think everyone should have equal access to, to computers. It shouldn't be for the privileged few. People really, everyone really should have access to things like the internet, email, everything. I think people really should, should get to, to have computers. I think that's something the government should do in our rural schools and other urban schools that don't have computers. I think my, my dreams for the future, I think for the near future, I want to go to university, get a degree in computers, and after that, I think starting up my own computer company. Is, I think that's, that's, those are my dreams. Well, I can say I really started playing on the computer when I was about Form 1, it's about 13. Um, it was mainly games at that stage. And then as I grew older, it progressed to things like basic programming. When I first, first started using the computers, I would spend a couple hours each day. But of late, I would say it would be three or four hours. If you were to speak to my mom though, she'd probably say it would be all day. I recently had a computer project in which I had to create a program to improve a system that was currently in work and I chose to improve the educational system. My idea was to create a program on a computer that would be in exchange for a teacher and that program would be able to teach children how to learn and a better way of remembering details. I think the future of computers for most of this generation is um, they really have to get to know how to use computers because in a couple of years time, not even decades, a couple of years time, everything is going to be based on computers. Every component that you can think of will have microchips inside it and I really think people have to uh, come to terms with this and get used to the technology. We are very fortunate here at Prince Edward with the facilities and computers we have. Uh, we've got 65 state-of-the-art Pentium machines. About 60% of the Form 1s when they enter Prince Edward are actually computer literate. They, many of them tend to have machines at home. But what we've picked up in the last couple of months is even though they've got computers at home, they tend to have picked up bad habits. For example, they don't use a keyboard correctly or they misabuse or damage the mouse, the mouse when they actually use it and therefore we have to introduce them again to the basic computer concepts and components so that the time they get to Form 2 they are efficient and they can use a computer and keyboard hardware comp competently. So for those future computer wizards out there, what's the best way to start? I started with computers when I was quite young through the uh, lure of games and I think that's the best place for any kid to start is playing games on the computer. But I think you have to have an adult nearby to uh, lead you into something more technical like programming. And I really think experimenting is the key to any person who wants to learn how to use a computer properly. Playing games is very useful to those people who've never used a computer before simply because by Playing with a keyboard and a mouse, you find that a lot of people tend to, uh, to lose their fear about computers and no longer treat a computer like a fragile vase. 
by playing games you can increase and develop your mouse skills as well as you can learn your keyboard as well as you have to be able to access the program as well as close the program which are basic concepts which you need to know whilst you're working on a computer. One of the tragedies of our jewels is that they usually leave the country increasing the brain drain in our industries. When I grow up I want to be like a pilot I want to go overseas and doing whatever things and I enjoy flying in the air. When I grow up I want to go to England and I want to travel as many places as I want. Well after I finish my exams I'm planning on going down south to Cape Tech where I'll be doing my Bachelor's of Information Technology and after I've completed that which will probably be four or five years I'll be probably heading over to the States to uh, find a job in IT management or systems analysis. I think of leaving Zimbabwe because there are standards in other countries, especially uh, down south, that are much higher than um, I'd be able to find here. For example, the University of Cape Town is world renowned and the quality of education there is very high. And then there's also the factor of uh, finding jobs. It's very difficult in Zimbabwe at the moment especially in the field of computers. Before we go, we asked the other young men from Prince Edward what they thought about computers in general. The world is full of computers and to get a job, we'll need to be able to use computers. So I think if I start learning early, I can be become good enough to get a good job. Um, in this world that we live in, you need to know a lot about, you need to be computer literate in order to get certain good jobs without having um, knowledge on the computer you can't really go far in life. I think the benefits are that you build a solid foundation for your future like when you're applying for jobs and ETC and all that. So I think if you get more knowledge now your brain will be have more exercise and it don't be as hard as it is when you are uh, when you can apply for your jobs. Well, after I leave school, I'd like to be more involved in a computer job, like, because it's the only job that will earn you um, a solid amount of money nowadays, so that's about it. That's it for our first Jewel of Africa show. Join us next week when we continue in the four-part series, Jewel of Education.